Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Full Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is a Sunday in FIFA Ultimate Team, and that means we might be seeing our first guaranteed Team of the Season SBC today in FIFA 20. Now, it's probably going to be the EFL guaranteed SBC, but I want to talk about this because this is going to be a kind of like a theme that we're going to see a lot over the next few weeks with these guaranteed TOTS SBCs, whether it's for the first league or for the second league, there's going to be probably some panic selling heading into that SBC being dropped. Um, and they usually drop these on a schedule, right? Last year, the schedule was the secondary team gets dropped on Sunday and the prelim or the primary team gets dropped on Tuesday. So it's kind of a, a Sunday, Tuesday kind of time frame. Also, I want to talk about where this market is headed because you're going to see sort of a weekend league sell-off happening. Now, some prices are already starting to go down. Some of the actual team and season cards are going down, uh, of course, with more lightning rounds yesterday, probably more lightning rounds today. But one of the most crazy things happened today on a Saturday during the 100K lightning rounds. I don't. I think they didn't sell out on PlayStation, which is crazy, man. I know there's hype for team of the season, but that also just goes to show for me that a lot of people are still waiting for the big league team of the seasons to start, which will be next week. So that I know there's still a lot of saved up packs. We'll be talking about throughout that this week, what that means for this coming Friday. Um, but I do want to talk about the weekend league sell-off, these team of the season guaranteed SBCs and possible upgrade packs coming today. I think it's possible, right? I think if we are going to get upgrade packs or maybe an icon SBC, th today's there's a lot of potential today. There really is. Sundays on FIFA, Sometimes they're pretty big for upgrade packs with Icon SBCs, Icon Player SBCs, uh, upgrade packs, and the like. So we'll talk about that. I want to take a look, first of all, at last year's EFL TOTS Guaranteed. Because, again, if there is any TOTS SBC that is a guaranteed one that's going to come out today, I think it would be the EFL. Because, again, they usually release that second league first right now last year this this um sbc was really cheap it was an 83 rated squad 60 chemistry and you had to have one player from england now if you take a look at the actual efl team of the season it has to be cheap this sbc has to be cheap and honestly it's probably not going to be worth it because how many cards in here are really worth packing they're all basically fodder depending on their rating and there's a lot of cards that are like under 20,000 coins, which is probably the minimum that this SBC is going to be costing, right? You have so many cards that are 15 to uh, 16, 17,000 coins. You have, you know, your Tony, Clark Harris, and Buendia are like the three cards out of this entire 15, and maybe Aaron's as well. So there's four cards out of the entire 15 that you really kind of want to pack, right? So honestly, unless you open up a bunch of, bunch of packs this weekend, or if you're going to open up upgrade packs, I would not do this EFL TOTS guaranteed because you're most likely going to pack Cruel, Honeyman, uh, Jay. I mean, you're going to be packing somebody that's probably not going to you know, do anything for you except be a player that's going to be in your club and used for future SBCs. So the only reason I think that you would want to do this today is if it is very cheap. If it really is 20,000 coins or less, if you wanted to take the gamble, I mean, it's only 5K less than 20K is going to be your your cheapest EFL tot. So you're most likely not going to pack something you want to actually get, but it might put if you have extra fodder or if you're going to be opening upgrade packs. Um, and I mean, this could be something you just do with the extra cards in your club. So that is something that you could do, but I really don't think, you know, for Buendia, for Tony, Clark Harris, and Aaron's today, those are probably going to be the four hardest cards to pack out of this SBC. And that's the one thing I want to talk about a lot with these guaranteed SBCs when they do come out is you see a lot of panic selling as we actually get into that SBC being released. Uh, if I look it up here on Footbin, I had it typed in as EFL. These SBCs right here, what happens is you see a lot of people panic sell their cards. So like when we get TOTS community, whenever they might drop the guaranteed TOTS community SBC today. And I want to talk about this market trend because this is huge, right? A lot of times last year on Tuesdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays were when these TOTS cards in packs hit their lowest because A, people panic sell when they know that TOTS guaranteed is coming because they think that, hey, I'm going to go do this SBC and I'm going to pack Valverde or Juan Basaka in my guaranteed TOTS pack. But more likely than not, you're going to be packing Ariola, Keen, Golton, Edward, or Zielinski or Ilicic. That's who you're most likely going to be packing from these SBCs. So you, PP, you see people panic selling the cards that they have in their team or that they have invested in, 
into that day when the TOTS guarantee is gonna come out and then you see people buy it right back. So there's a period of panic selling right when the SBC drops and even leading up into that SBC dropping. And then a little bit later into the nighttime, people didn't pack who they actually wanted to pack. So they just go about, they just go out and they buy that card back for their teams. You see it big time on the high tier players, right? People think they're gonna pack Valverde, Alaba, Juan Risaka, and even a guy like Mukiele and Dombley or Harvey Barnes. And most people are not. So you're going to see those prices dip and then you're going to see them bounce back. So of course, make sure you, you identify which one, if there's a card that you want for your team, you, you identify that price and say, Hey, is this drop big enough for me to buy this? And is there going to be enough demand? Even if it just bounces back up to what it was when the SBC right before the SBC came out, is that enough room for profit or is it just, you know, considering tax and everything like that. But that is a common theme that we see with these guaranteed TOTS SBCs. So we're going to see that later on this week, whenever they release the guaranteed community SBC. I don't know if you're really going to see that much panic selling for the EFL TOTS. I mean, Buendia, Tony, Clark, and then Aaron's are kind of the only four cards that you maybe would see a little bit of panic selling on because those are the really only four hyped cards that are in that squad. So regardless of that, though, uh, I do think that is one SBC that we will see today. Now, it was a quiet day yesterday. We had the Duvan Zapata SBC that was released. Um, you know, really big time boost on this card. Four star skill move upgrade as well. So he's four star, four star. He's got pace. His agility balance isn't that bad. 99 finishing is really, really awesome. 97 shot power uh, and 96 strength. So a very interesting looking card. Uh, he's flexing his muscles in the picture, bro, because this card's going to be an absolute truck, but he's probably going to finish great in front of goal. So if this is your type of card, um, then GG's. It's coming in at like 110,000 coins, so it's very cheap, right? Very good value for a cheap card. And you kind of see two days in a row now of EA pushing a little bit of a Serie A agenda with the Chiesa Serie A left mid and Zapata Serie A striker. So that's kind of interesting to see right there with those two cards with two Serie A cards being released as SBC. So again, today on Sunday, I'm really feeling like we're going to get one of those guaranteed TOTS SBCs, most likely the EFL. Uh, and then I do think there's a possibility for upgrade packs because Sundays have been the day when EA is releasing upgrade packs. A lot of people were saying, do I think they could release the 81 plus player picks today? I think there's a possibility of it because EA has been very generous this year with the 81 plus player picks. Now I want to check gold rares. I'm going to check prem rares just to see where they're at. Are they still around a thousand coins? Prem rares are insta selling at a thousand coins, which is still crazy. I think people are going massively unassigned to get prem rares um, more often or more likely just because they want to get those cards for the upgrade SBCs next week. Let me check like league one rares. How much are these? So it looks like Prem Rares are the most expensive, but you're probably going to see Rares rise a little bit in general, just as we get, if we would get an 81 plus player pick SBC today, because you know, people are going to go out and they're going to hammer that upgrade pack because yeah, you know what, there's, there's going to be, there's cards right now in this community tot squad that people are going to want to go pack. So I do think you would see these cards falling down even more today on Sunday with more lightning rounds, potential SBC content that can make people sell these cards to go interact with that SBC content and stuff like that. Now, Valverde is 999,000 coins. And this is another quick little market trend that I want you guys to keep watch out for the next few weeks on Saturday. So of course, Friday new promo comes out. We have whatever fluctuations we have with the cards. This Valverde went down to 900,000 coins late Friday night, rose back up to 1.07. And then he went back down right around pre-content time. He was 920, 930,000 coins on the PlayStation and he was 750, 749 on the Xbox. Um, lightning rounds come out. Everybody sells on Saturday mornings. People that have these TOTS cards in their teams that are trying out for weekend league, the high tier cards, they usually get sold off right before Saturday lightning rounds because people think that they're going to get supplied and all that. And then what actually happens is the, the lightning rounds on Saturdays, they really don't supply these cards that much on the high tier. Um, these cards mostly get supplied with saved up packs and the lightning rounds on Fridays. So what you see is the, the rare cards and the high tier ones, they bounce back. This Valverde went from 920,000 coins. He bounced back to actually 1.02, 1.03, about 15 minutes after uh, the content dropped because people said, oh, wow, this, they're not popping up on the market. And I was supposed to buy during lightning rounds. Nothing's popping up. No new cards are coming out. And they see the price starting to rise. So it just becomes like a domino effect. And everybody just goes out and buy the card, buys the card, and it shoots up really fast. So watch out, especially for Premier League next Saturday. This is just a way ahead of time, a quick tip. Watch out for the panic selling into Saturday, the second day of the promo, and then watch a rebound. Last year, I did it with team of the season, KDB. 
Um, I bought them at like 3.9 million coins on Saturday and I sold them for like 4.2, 4.25, literally like an hour later because people wanted to go buy that very rare card and try it in Weekend League and he shot up because people were selling him into content. He rebounded afterwards. So now granted, that has to be a day where there's not a lot of content because if EA would drop some sort of huge SBC, then you know maybe the card wouldn't uh, bounce back as much. But speaking again of SBCs, I do feel like some upgrade SBC is coming today, whether it's 81 plus player picks or some sort of upgrade pack. And then I also think if EA wanted to, they could drop that icon attacker upgrade or some sort of icon SBC as well. It might be one of those where we see EA put out an icon SBC for an extended amount of time, like a couple weeks, uh, that is just kind of sitting there and available as upgrade packs are being opened and as people are having stuff in their clubs from opening lightning rounds, they've got players in their clubs, players in their teams, and then, you know, EA is putting that SBC out there for people to go and uh, to do, right? That's that's a, a common thing that we see is EA releasing a big icon upgrade SBC during a promo uh, with upgrade packs to kind of, you know, just to have something there to rinse the cards out of a, a person's club if they want to have that. So again, speaking on the market though, I made some huge, I mean, I actually did the calculations today. All these cards right here, uh, we made some big, big coins in the past 24 to 36 hours. Um, actually I did the math, 756,000 coins between all of these. Now there are a couple break evens and a couple losses today. I bought this on stream at 112. I saw him sell at 1126, but it was just kind of like in a panic buy. Didn't recheck the price. And you know, I lost a little bit here on tax. So I lost about 20 K there, but on all of this stuff, this is a lot of stuff that I bought Friday night. I bought this Rio at 1.7. I bought a lot of flips Friday night into Saturday. I bought this at 850. Um, I bought both those at 850. I like the low tier stuff the most. I bought 13 areolas um, on Friday night for between 82 to 85,000 coins and sold them at an average of about 95, 96K for most of these. Uh, so that was a huge W right there. And of course, the other random flips that we had too. So huge profit was made um, by myself on that Friday night. And I think it was just the profit that we saw and the market movements that we saw with this, with the stuff moving up a lot on the market. Now you can obviously like this, this El Matador was, I sold him at 560 earlier today on Saturday, he's back down to 497. So you're starting to see that weekend league sell off, but a lot of coins entered the market with saved up packs being opened. And that just, of course, people had to go out and they have to play the weekend league. They gotta get these games in because they have big time rewards on the line today and this week with team of the seasons being in reward. So that I think is why you saw the market bounce so big is because the injection of coins and also that demand for the weekend league. And I think that's gonna be a common theme that you see over the next couple weeks on um, on Friday nights is I think you're gonna see the market go pretty high, especially next week with Prem Tots. Uh, there's gonna be a really, really nice opportunity in my opinion to see the market go pretty high. Now I've got to snag an Ericsson card for the club. I keep saying this. I let this go at 42K on a bid. I probably should have got that one. I want to get a fresh Ericsson for the club uh, to stock because this is the cheapest 88 rated in form. And of course, Ericsson is my my bro. So um, we need to get one of those into the club. It uh, looks like I sold Stoikov at the right time because he's down to 1-1. One, one. But anyways, there's going to be coins to be made today. There really is going to be opportunities on the market as you're watching the weekend league sell off there's going to be opportunities to make coins. Now, here's one card that I already saw a drop on already, and that is Foot Birthday Furlan Mendy. 740,000 coins right now at the moment. This guy was over 800K on the Weekend League. Let's talk through this a little bit, right? If you're going to try to make some coins today on a Sunday, you saw that this car was between 800,000 coins and 740, 750 yesterday on the PlayStation, right? Right now, he's 740K. He's got three cards to 770, right? Kind of rare overnight in, in the, the nighttime market as well right now. It is... Uh, I think right now it is 4 a.m. UK time if I'm doing my math correctly. So it's pretty late night, right? But I will say this. If you see big time undercuts on some of these rare out of pack special cards, um, you know, I love looking at this, this Freeze Mane card. This guy moves around like crazy, right? He fluctuates a ton. Um, you can see he was 848. He went back up to 945, even 960 on the, uh, the PlayStation. And right now he's 924. So on some of these rare out of pack specials, that people are still gonna be looking to buy for their team if stuff gets too low in today, like on Sunday, I would 100% get involved with this stuff. And uh, if you wanna do a little bit of flipping, it might be risky because it's gonna be hard to tell what the actual low point is and if there's enough demand to pick that price back up. But again, if it's a rare card in demand, popular item, 
excuse me, then I do think there's going to be plenty of opportunities to flip today. Now, I will say on the high tier market, be very, very careful because I think a lot of people are going to be knowing that, hey, team of the season Premier League is coming this next week and they're going to take that opportunity to sell a lot of their high tier cards. Now, you guys know these prices are up from where they were last week, right? Last weekend sell off was absolutely insane. I don't know. If you're remembering last week, we saw Ronaldo was at 5.5 million coins. This Mbappe was at 4.2. I don't know if you're going to see prices get that low again on the weekend league sell-off today. Unless we see massive, massive sell-off, I'm not expecting that big of a drop because I don't honestly think some of these prices are going to hit that, get that low again. Like this Davies was 860K. He's 1.1 mil right now. Do I think Davies goes back to 860 this week? I doubt it, right? I doubt we see those huge drop-offs again, but I think you will see people selling off some of their high-tier icons this week, especially today on Sunday. So 100% watch out for sell-off on some of these cards um, because I do think you will see that happening with, of course, those team of the season Premier League cards on the horizon. Now, of course, other special cards out of packs. One thing to note is this Holland card. If you see him get low today, this is a good little investment for later on in the week. If you see him hit like 320 or 330, he was 327 a couple hours ago. I missed that, unfortunately. Uh, Holland and Dortmund got their fourth win in a row yesterday on Saturday. So this card is guaranteed to go to a 91 on Wednesday. But also, he scored two goals in that win. Now, I, two goals for Holland would be like a... He's got so many special cards. So he's guaranteed to get that 91 rated upgrade. But some people have been saying, hey, is it possible that he could get an inform and the plus one streak. So we'll get a plus two to his headliner card on Wednesday. Now, I don't know if that's ever happened before, but I guess there's possibility for it. So just kind of keep an eye out. That could fly under the radar with all the team of the season stuff that's going on. So make sure you keep an eye on this card. Um, that's one that I'm watching this week. Now, I sold both the ones that I had today. I bought two of them earlier on Friday for 320K. I got them both out today for 347 and 350. So um, that is a W there. And again, I would say if you're watching specific cards in the sell-off today, I would 100% be watching on Premier League, right? Premier League cards, if you want to make an early investment, Premier League cards are going to be used heavily to link stuff that would be coming out as team of the season cards later on this week. So watch out for some of your meta tots cards, right? We're going to get a lot of attackers in tots Premier League. We're going to get a lot of, you know, maybe some right backs, center backs. It's really going to be tough to know what cards are going to do the best as links to the uh, Premier League Tots cards. But I will say this, if somebody is like 100% guaranteed to get a team of the season, probably like uh, Hyun Min Sun, right, should be getting a team of the season from Tottenham in the main squad on Friday for Prem Tots. Uh, you know, you could watch out for the Sun card, but especially if a card has a really t high tier item, you know, like maybe a team of the year, I'd be careful with some of those cards because you might have additional sell-off coming. Now, a team of the season Sun card is going to be like 95 rated, might be a striker card, who knows if they do position change, and it's it's not really going to affect this version of Sun, right? This, this version of Sun might actually go up. The bottom line of what I'm saying is watch out for your Premier League specials because I do think that this week they will have an opportunity to rise up a little bit as links to the team of the season cards that will be coming out. So, just kind of maybe start to do a little bit of research, watch some cards and say, hey, is this guy getting a tots? If he is, you know, maybe you, you take a little bit of extra uh, speculation in on that. But, you know, somebody like that Freeze Mane who I mentioned or Gabriel Jesus, probably not getting a tots card, um, but still a Premier League card in this game that has, wow, this was 530K earlier today. He's now back to 600K. There's another flip potential right there. But, you know, a card like this would be one that people might try to use to link together with their brand new tots cards coming coming this friday so that's kind of one thing i would keep an eye on as well is that if you do see panic on the prem team of the season or prem specials in this game that could be a place to get involved but again watch for the sell-off today watch for the drops it's going to be you know you'll have to pick your spots very carefully but you will see prices dropping and you will see potential uh areas to trade on this game today on sunday so that's kind of the video for today, boys. Again, I do think we will get some sort of guaranteed TOTS SBC today. Not sure about a player, possibly an Icon SBC. And I think some sort of upgrade pack should be in line for today. I feel like it'd be kind of an L if, you know, EA's been releasing upgrade packs for almost every promo this year. If they didn't do it for this team of the season community, that would be a bit disappointing. So those are my thoughts today for the market, boys. Watch the sell-off, all that good stuff. Trade at your own risk if you do want to get involved with any of that. And uh, should be a good Sunday. Good luck finishing your weekend league games as well. Getting a high rank for those weekend league 
picks. But if you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.